Welcome back to Sleeping Cemeteries. Today I'm here at Cavender Cemetery in Dubois County, Indiana. I came here, sold on a find a grave in this really cool fence. So I wanted to go check it out. Um, let's walk up these stairs. All right. These stairs are really cool. I really like them. I'll try to be careful as I go up. Hopefully this isn't locked or something. I haven't checked it out. I just started filming. Oh, cool. Opens right up. Oh, wow. This is really, really interesting. It's another windy day out here, so um, I'll do a pan from right here at the door. And we'll just start with some stones at my feet and work my way back. some stones I really can't move them too well so we're gonna leave them where they lay I don't see any evidence of any type of uh, markings next one here we've got a John C Ooh, this is Brittany. that's pretty cool got another stone here that's fallen down beside John Looks like it's to Elizabeth Thomas. And there's a stone for JCB. Face is broken here. This stone here belongs to Alice right beside the others. What does this one say? Trevor? No. I'm not 100 sure, sure, but that's another old one, man. Come back to the second line. The second row starts with this marker. Beside this other marker here, it's an SM. One looks to have fallen down face, face forward, so let me see if I can move it at all. forward just another marker so back onto this next row it starts this next row here just starts with a rock along with these other rocks but beside that rock we've got this service gentleman Newton Gavender Cavender Oh, Newton Cavender. Probably the gentleman that this is play, named after. There's some more stones. They're all kind of just piled up. That one says Newton on top. Son of. So who knows. A large stone right here. Charles, son of... A and T Cavender. That's pretty wild. All right, back over by the fence row. Another Cavender stone, Anson. As you can see, the rest of this area is kind of, I don't know. So what I'm going to do instead of um, my typical going through rows and stuff, I'm just going to walk around over here real quick and see if I can see anything else that might have anyone's name on it. Um, find a Grave said there was only 21 here. I've done quite a few already, with just markers and whatnot. So uh, let's see if we can find anyone else's name. One on its on its face probably that is way too big to try to mess with. Um, there is a marker 
right here that says FBT. Step over the stone. Another just stone. See if there's any markings. Oh my god, that's heavy. Yeah, there is, but no way to tell who it is. <laughs> that one's not gonna budge. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'll wind up breaking it. Another couple of people their markers. Uh, all right, this one right here has a NHT. Oh, you see right over here. This one. Uh, I believe that's Possibly part of this it looks like maybe the same kind of angle, but that's worn a lot. I, I don't know, and that stone looks really fragile. So uh, we got this stone, and behind it, by this tree, there's a marker that looks like it's for a A C. We have another marker just on the ground buried. Man, that's unfortunate. And the very last thing I can see before we wander to the back is this. I would imagine that's a GG or a CC. Looks like G through the viewfinder. I'll say GG. But as you can see, the rest of this little fenced in area doesn't have much. So let's just see. I'm a way out. Not I'm not sure if I should have done it or not, but I flipped these stones over to see who it was. Memory of Nathaniel. I'm going to try to put these stones back in a way to where they won't break, but also in a way that maybe they can be seen. I'm not sure, but that was just one stone. Broken in half. I also was able to flip this other half over. It might have been flipped over so it preserves the lettering. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's her. I'm not sure how you pronounce that name. I think it's an L O D. I'm not sure. Woman, it's a grave. Thanks again for joining me here at Cavender Cemetery. Pretty small, but this one was short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed the visit, and I hope we can uncover some of these names a little bit more so when I'm doing the research on the cemetery. Um, it's really cool, though. I like I like seeing these older ones, but I don't like seeing them in such bad shape. It's really unfortunate. But I hope you enjoyed this visit. And uh, I'll see you next time.